All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. Uh, I actually didn't have my camera with me, but uh, had to break out the iPhone and get you a shot of this fish. Uh, that is a pretty fish. Um, I don't have a length on them yet, and you can see I'm still holding them, so I just landed them. Didn't even have my net ready. My net's on the side, still wrapped up, so I just had to hold on tight and uh, tire, tire him out, and uh, I got lucky. You see, I got him good in the lip right there. And uh, so yeah. All right, you can see there he is, just as snug as a bug in the rug, in my fish bag, keeping him nice and alive since I don't have any ice or anything like that. Um, so I know you haven't seen my fish bag in action in quite some time. I think I actually lost contact with it, had that on the patio or something like that. But um, it's back and it's doing its thing. So um, again, he came in at just about 22 inches. So very nice fish. And um, <laughs> I think I got my meals covered for Father's Day. What do you think? All right, keep watching. All right, so I made it back to the homestead. And uh, you can see here's the fish. Uh, came in right at 22 inches. And um, I shot my buddy Edwin a text and he asked, he said, is that your new personal best? And uh, lengthwise, I think so. And maybe just size wise in general. I think one thing I might have to do is, is get a scale because I have not been weighing these fish, but looking at this fish, I would say it's every bit of, I don't know, five, six, maybe seven pounds. So um, here's the fish getting ready to clean it. And um, I imagine uh, since I'm home alone, fish dinner, might have a big old filet and uh, some nice sides, so maybe I'll pop back in and show you my plate. All right, keep watching. All right, so this is half of it. I got the magic happening behind me in the skillet. So you can see that's a nice big slab of fish, and then this is a piece that's going in the freezer because um, we're not going to waste this. We're going to have some fish next time we want some fish. So you can see I scored it, and uh, it's beautiful, cleaned up, ready to go. All right. So the verdict is sheep's head and Uncle Ben's rice. All right, shout out to Ray Mack over there. How it look, Ray? Yeah, if you're looking to be inspired in the kitchen, go over and check out Ray Mack's Kitchen and Grill. Ray makes it happen over there. All right, be kind to the fish. <laughs>